Hello, this is Billy Core from Home Carolina Circle Mall.com. It's a Sunday evening, um, July, I mean, <laughs> September 5th, um, 2010. Boy, I was way off on that. <laughs> anyway, um, we're back here in the good old 1995 Honda Accord. Um, I'm going to do a little bit, bit of radio repair. Um, real quick, let, just for the heck, but let's get the mileage. Uh, 138,832 not too bad okay um now for quite some time for the last month or so whenever you stick a an audio cassette or the mp3 cassette adapter into the to this car's tape deck this will flash on the screen This um, it's uh, that that light means it, it's time to clean the old tape deck. It's been it's a feature I've always kind of gotten gotten a kick out of for the, for the fi last 15 years of this car's existence. Gosh, even before that, with the '94 Accord we had for a short while back in the '90s. But anyway, um, to clean the tape deck, you need something like this. It's a uh, cleaning cassette with a little bit of um special liquid you drop in it and this is um radio shack brand and so let's just open it up i've used this quite a few times and it's always a good idea because it could very well short your tape player out if you don't pay good close attention to it let's take that out let's see um Okay, you have to place one to two drops of cleaning fluid on cleaning tape at positions A, B, and C. Insert cassette, play, press play, well in this car you don't have to do that, then let run until it stops. Do not rewind, or else the tape will jump out of the tape player and eat you alive. And also, um, you cannot feed it after midnight. <laughs> Gremlins reference there. Okay, uh, here's the solution here. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Let's just uh, drop that in there for the time being. I got a little bit on my hand. My skin's going to burn off and it'll be nothing but... Yeah, let's not go there. It's too graphic. Okay, um, drop one to two drops in here. One, two, I think that was two. One, two, and one, two. So there we go. Okay, now the fun part, sticking it in the tape player. Let's turn the volume down there. Hopefully Paul McCartney won't kill me for copyright infringement for that song. Okay, it's sticking in here. Okay, push it in. When it changes sides, we'll take it out. And hear it working. <laughs> Take it out. All right, let's um, stick this tape back in. By the way, this is a uh, tape I've had for the last 15 years. I guess it's um, only rock and roll 1960 to 1964. A lot of good early rock and roll songs from the early 60s on there. And um, let's stick it in here. See, it's still flashing clean, but I'll show you how to fix that. Okay, to, to, kick, to stop it from flashing clean so repeatedly, what you do is you see this button here, preset 6. Hold it down until you hear that beep. Okay, let's take the tape back out and see if it worked. And there we go. It 
No more clean warning. It's a good song, by the way. Yeah, it's... It's normally something you no, no longer do in cars nowadays, but since I'm old school and drive a car from 1995 with, with its original tape deck in it, that's still usual business for me. I don't know what I'm going to do when this runs out. And they quit making these little packs here. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. So um, this is Billy Core signing off on September 5th, 2010. Goodbye, everybody.